Dear son, my flight leaves in a couple of hours. To be honest, it can't come soon enough. I've said my goodbyes, which didn't take long, as you can imagine. I don't know why Kenny can stay here a minute longer. Maybe I just don't have his strength. Are you sure this is the right place? I thought we sent all our military injuries to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Well, this is the address you gave me. I don't think Kenny's injuries are physical. Careful. That's not a good sign. Coming. I should see that she's okay. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. I'll see you inside. Ian, he's your friend. Do you smoke? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, well, it's gone soft. Beth, right? I recognize you from your husband's photos. I'm Ian. I served with Kenny. It's not Kenny in there. Not anymore. How bad is it? My friends have stopped coming round to the house. Suddenly everyone's busy. Not that I blame them. People like to pretend that horrific things don't happen. Now Kenny's a living reminder that they do. In the beginning, we couldn't wait to pick up our guns and play at being heroes. We were just kids. What does an 18-year-old know about politics? No one told us that sooner or later playtime would end, and all we'd have left are scars and nightmares. Nichols. There's a face I haven't seen for a while. Hi, Kenny. Good to see you. Ian's not coming, is he? He's just sorting something out. He'll be here in a second. We thought you'd been wounded in action. Sorry. Not exactly something you broadcast. My bloody head case. Kenny, I didn't. Ian told you what happened. I knew he was affected by what happened. We both were, but he told me everything was all right. Do you know what he told me when I found him trembling on the kitchen floor? He told me it was just the flu. They mould you into these tough, macho soldiers, but you just become stubborn idiots in the process. Kenny was my responsibility. Well, I should have protected him. So if you hate me, then I understand that. He didn't make him sign up, so... Maybe he has changed. Right, but he's here now. He might be too proud to ask for your support, but he's going to need it, trust me. Please, don't give up on him. Give up? Ian, it's taken me months to get him this far. It's been painful, but I'm not going anywhere. When was the last time that you saw him? And yet here you are outside talking to me. Ian talked about you all the time, you know? Yeah, I was probably the butt of all his jokes. I think you're all going through. All the letters he wrote you. Letters? Must have been some other girl. Spray tan pole dancer, knowing Ian. Anyway, what matters is you're here now. I just needed to know that he wasn't alone. But now you're back together. No, not back together. What Ian and I had is in the past. We've both moved on from that. If you say so. But you haven't come all this way for me. Yeah. 
Hans Corporal. Good to see you, mate. I've been working on this project in occupational therapy. Face down the demons and all that jazz. Smell of burning flesh is still in my nostrils. It's not quite finished. The screams won't stop ringing in my ears. Secure the area! Secure! Check his vitals! Nothing prepares you for this, Sam. It's all over now, mate. You're safe. of it right. I was walking back from the bog maybe 30 feet away but I can picture it all. Everything. Except you. I never asked you where you were. Uh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. You're a good soldier, mate. A good leader. I trusted Naveed. We all trusted him. There's nothing you could have done. Why didn't you tell me when it happened? I could have been there for you. I'm fine. Ian. I messed up. I, Naveed was acting strange. I should have seen it. That's all there is to it. Stop torturing yourself. You're not listening to me. But this is me, Ian. There's no shame in it. This isn't some cry for help. It's facts. I failed. And yeah, I have to live with that. But at least I get to live, eh? You didn't blow up the base. You didn't hurt anyone. I stood there and I let it happen. What Navi did that day was not your fault and I think you know that. Oh, I could have easily... Just forget what you could or couldn't have done. You survived. No one blames you for that. I've missed you. Don't. Yeah, no, um, everything's fine. You know what, I'm just about to drop Mum off now. What? Uh, yeah, love you too. Okay, bye.
Reed, what's up? Training's not till tomorrow. Just come. Well, where are we going? What, are you shy? Well, where are we going? Don't be shy. <laughs> I need you to wait here. Yes. Please, don't move. Promise me, huh? Oi, if this is another one of your jokes. <laughs> in the toilets on paper. <laughs> well, I just thought that I heard... Oh, maybe that's what you wanted. Dream on. Well, come on, it's not as if we hadn't done it before. Really? Hmm, must not have been that memorable. <laughs> All right, play it cool. No loss. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> I hate Naveed for what he did. Anyone would hate the man that murdered their friends. Sometimes I think that's not it. I think what I really hate him for is not letting me die with them. What right did he have to spare me? What am I supposed to be grateful? The war was hell for me. And now he's made sure I can never really leave. I know you'll understand, Sam. We always understood each other. That's why I'm coming home for you. <laughs> so this is the last letter I'll write you, sir. I'm sorry you never got to read any of them. Yours always.